Yeah. Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I'm here with my pre-cuts quilt boxes. They're a little bit late. These are the ones from January, um, but better late than never, right? So I'm very excited to open them up. I'm going to open both of them up, one before the other. And I've opened it up just to see which box it is, because y'all know I don't want to know what's inside until I open it. This is the classic box. So let's pop it open. Okay, so open it up. Pretty paper inside. And we get a little brochure that tells us everything that's inside and all the prices and whatnot. It's all on here. I'm not gonna look at it because I don't wanna know yet. Um, but she does have a Oh, someone won a free box. It is Kelsey Maynard from Wisconsin. And she won that by sharing her box on Instagram and her Facebook page using hashtag pre-cuts quilt box and pre-cuts quilt shop. Excellent. Okay, so congratulations, Kelsey. Let's open this up. Okay, so we have a variety pack of banded stretch elastic. So for those of you who are making masks, um, you get approximately one yard of each color for a total of approximate, approximately six yards. Includes two basic colors and four bright colors. There you go. Okay, so we got that. Ooh, look at this. We have a Guterman Creative Bonus Pack. Um, this is 50 weight cotton, and it is Guterman thread in fall colors. So save this stuff for fall coming up, and you have all the colors you need. There's 10 spools in there, guys. And you get 110 yards of each one. Okay. Then, you know I'm going to do uh, the fabric last. So, oh! Becca, isn't this the pattern that you got? That you have over here? It sure is. It sure is. That's the one I'm working on right now. So, this is the pattern that we got in the box. It is Thimble Blossoms Rain or Shine. And I was just telling her that it was gorgeous. Is this what you're doing? Yeah, with those it? are the night catches I've been working on. This is what Becca's working on for it. And it looks like they're going to. The star is going to be a secondary design. Uh, okay, so the stars will be after. So, she's making all of the. Nine patches. Nine patches first. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And and she's um totally into strawberries right now because her grandma made a quilt for her with strawberries and now she wants to make a grandma quilt. So that's what she's doing with all the little strawberries in the middle. This is a very cute pattern. I was even saying this before I knew it was in my box. So the pattern will make a 66 inch by 74 inch quilt. You need a jelly roll or 24 two and a half inch by width of fabric strips. You'll need half a yard of striped aqua fabric for the stars. You need one yard of aqua fabric for the star points, three and a half yards of background fabric, three quarters of a yard for binding, and four and a quarter yards for the backing. Um, so that's, it's really pretty. And the last thing in the box is a jelly roll. And it is a jelly roll of Shine On. And... Oh, pretty. Yes, this is Bonnie and Camille. And I'm not going to undo a jelly roll. I'm so sorry, guys. So what I'll do is I'll just post um, a picture at probably at the end of the video of what's in the line so that you guys can um, see that. And if you look on the side, you can sort of see what all the colors are there. Okay, so let's recap real quick. I feel like at this particular time, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like 
um, it's a little bit different than what we got before with, oh, did y'all see my earrings? Look how cute, right? Anyway, um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I, I know that there are people who are making masks and so that's gonna be really great for those people who are making the masks. Um, but if you're not making masks, then you have that thrown in there and it doesn't really kind of go with the project. Um, so I don't know about that, but, um, ooh, and like the photo of the fat of the thread inside has got some really pretty thread. <laughs> it is like some bright colors. Um, okay, so here's what she has. She's got 10 spools of 50 weight cotton thread, Guterman, and her says spring. So I don't know why I got fall, but it says spring. And uh, that retails for $19. Then you have the Jelly Roll Shine On by Bonnie and Camille. And that retails for $41. You have uh, one, one sixth inch banded stretch elastics, uh, $6. And the Rain or, Shine, Rain or Shine pattern by Thimble Blossoms is $9. And of course the shipping is $8.85. Um, so there's the classic box. So let me go ahead and close this one up real quick. And we'll move on to the modern one. She obviously packs it way better than me because I can't get the darn box to close. Oh, I see what I did, hold on. Okay, so there's that. And then it does come in like the same kind of box. This is the modern maker box. And let's get this one open. Okay, so then when you open this one up, it's a little different. You can always tell the difference between the two because this one has the, um, the sheet is just one big sheet like this. It's not folded up at all. Um, and the way that everything is laid out is all different as well. Um, okay, so she's got all the information on there, but I'm gonna wait until after I open everything up to look at it. Okay, we have a 12 pack of Small Magic Clips by Taylor Seville. And I haven't used those before. Um, the interesting thing about these is that there are little markings that are on the clips that will um, let you measure quarter inch and half inch. And so that they're really cool for that. And I know you can't really, I don't, you probably can't see it, but see like right here, that's quarter and then that's half. And that's how deep you would put your fabric in, I'm guessing, to know where you're sewing. Anyway, um, they're very, very helpful in that way. Um, it says that it opens wide and lays flat for ease of use. And precise sewing, no need to remove the clips. Huh, interesting. Okay, so there we go, got a pack of those. And then we have a spool of Mettler thread and it's a lovely pink color. I'm trying to get to, I think this is a 50 weight. Yes, this is a 50 weight, small spool and Way at the bottom, we have a twinkle pattern by Trisha Lynn Maloney for Orphan Quilt Designs. And this is one of the Villa Rosa designs. So these are very simple. Um, that's what the quilt would look like. The quilt will finish at 60 inches square. And it's very simple to put together. Okay. Now we're going to look at the fabric. And now that I'm seeing it, I'm going to tell you that this is, well, it just says it's by Anna Bond for Rifle Paper Company. And Rifle Paper Company is now, or maybe it always was, I'm not sure, but it's owned by Cotton and Steel.
Okay. Oh, it says important. Next month, we'll celebrate our second anniversary and your box will include a scratch card. Please don't trash the card because you may win one of the prizes, which includes a ever sewn sewing machine, pre-cuts and gift cards. Awesome. Okay, so here's the fabric. Let me pull it out of the box and then I'll show it to you. Here's what it looks like. And I know y'all are all screaming, those are not event colors. That's true. But y'all, we get the whole collection. That's always the draw with pre-cuts quilt shop is you get the entire collection. Um, let me look on the back here and see. Um, okay, so these are called Strawberry Field. Strawberry Field Fat Quarters by Rifle Paper Company. And... Okay, so let's go through each one. Here is the first fabric. That's the neutral color. And then we have this one. And I think those are just leaves on the navy. And then we have that same print, but this is um, a darker green leaf on a light green background. And this is the same as the first print, except the background is a like a mint green instead of being uh, the neutral white. And here is a nice orange one with a flower toss on it. And here is more navy blue. is another neutral. Is that the same as the first one? Oh, do you know what? Can you tell that like this one is white and this one has like this very light tan background? It is very similar. I thought it was the same one, but it's not. Okay. I was like, hey, I got two of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and here is the yeah. next one. <laughs> yes, they got me. <laughs> it's pretty. It is pretty. It goes with that orange one. It does. This is the same as the orange one, except it's got a dark navy background. This is, nope, that's black. I was gonna say that looks black. Nope, it's black. <laughs> I have too much light on this side in my eyeball. This print definitely, I think, looks better on the darker background. And this one is black as well. And it's just like the tan and white and also that uh, mint one. I spy strawberries. You do? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's enough strawberries in it though. There needs to be more strawberries for it to be strawberry fields. <laughs> Plus it's also orange. Well, that too. This is white with, um, I would say navy, but it's not really a deep navy. It's, it's, this, this is pretty though. I like it with this color. Almost looks like you got a pack of eggs. So the modern maker, <laughs> you always get fat quarters? Yeah. You always get the whole line, really. You get like 16. Nice. Yeah. Or almost the whole line if it, you know, if they have way more than that. And this is white with a nice green leaf. I actually like this one. I think this would be um, just as nice as a stripe for a binding. Yeah. And you'd have like some interesting detail with those um, 
with the leaves. I like that. And then we had, this one is navy with the flower toss. And no strawberries. No strawberries. <laughs> nope, not a one. Unless maybe those flowers turn into strawberries. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's a strawberry bush without the strawberries. <laughs> and this is a white one. Huh? What's that, honey? They focus more on the fields than the strawberries. That's right. <laughs> What's in the field with the strawberries? Daisy. So I like this one on the white. That one's nice. Nicer, anyway. Lots of blue. Yeah, this is a very blue line. For sure. And then here is white with green. Those remind me of the wreaths that you would see like on Caesar's head. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the last one. I think I like the it is a, white. It's dark green with a light green leaf. I liked it better on the white. What do you think? I do I like it better on the white too. Okay, so Interestingly, I haven't seen like a new, and it could be that I just haven't seen it. I'm sure it's out there, but I haven't seen a new line from Rifle Paper Company in a bit. And this is very typical of Rifle Paper Company. Um, it's not really my cup of tea, I'll be honest with you. I'm not into a whole ton of florals and dark colors, y'all know that. Um, but Rifle Paper Company is also known for having really good stationery and um, having a lot of these designs on the stationery and it's really, really pretty. Um, so while I, you know, I'm not really a, a huge fan in the fabric, I do know that there's tons of stuff that they do that I really do like um, that I see. And so I'd love to know what you guys think um, about this particular line, Strawberry Fields. Also, are you a fan of Rifle Paper Company? And do you know of another line that they've had recently? Because I haven't seen one and I'd like to go and check out, you know, some of the differences if, um, if there's one in particular that you've seen and like. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this boxes, the boxes. And don't forget that next month, or actually this month now, of course, I didn't get the February box yet. I'm sure I will. And so look for your scratch tickets there and be sure to scratch them and see what you won. And I hope you guys all win a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and if one of you guys wins the sewing machine, OMG, without, you know, this goes without saying, I want to know about it. Um, if you're not already a member of the Jelly Beanies on Facebook, come on over and join us and share everything with us. Love to see it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.